I'd like to thank you for joining us here today. My pleasure, Sarah. All right. So I have, of course, some questions regarding your book, Stay. Um, so my first question will be, why did you choose to write it in a poetic format? So uh, it's called a novel in verse or a verse novel. And I had read uh, one of these, um, a, a book written in this genre many, many years ago. Uh, it's called um, Out of the Dust by Karen Hess. H-E-S-S-E. -S -S -E. She's an American writer, <clears throat> and it's a story about a family that survives um, uh, uh, the, the uh, experience of the, the great uh, Dust Bowl of the 30s, and it's told through the, through the perspective of a, of a young girl. And I just found it so compelling to read poetry that, um, that links in this way. So like my own novel in verse, every poem links to or speaks to the next the next piece in the story until you have a whole I just found it really really compelling and then as I began to do some research I learned that the verse novel has in fact been with us since the days of Homer and um, is um, is loved by by teachers because it's just so accessible to to students whether they are a reluctant reader or an avid reader so it just became a, a huge challenge I just as a poet I just had to get my head around the verse novel Stay, of course, is about a girl who is 12, turning 12, yes. and her family is splitting up, and then her dad gets cancer. Why did you do, choose to tell this story? I have written five books, um, four books of poetry, and this novel in verse, and they all deal with families who are struggling with <clears throat> uh, breakdown, separation, divorce, and it's my preoccupation um, I experienced uh, divorce when I was uh, around the age of um, the main character in Stay. And so it's just a story that I keep going back to. Um, I'm just compelled to pull all the pieces together. I keep looking at it through different lenses. <clears throat> and the opportunity to, to tell the story um, from a child's perspective was just um, too, too good an idea for me to ignore. Readers who read the story, what do you hope they get from it? What's the message you really want to come across in that story? First, I hope that they just enjoy it as a story because it is a it's a it's a good ride. I mean, there's lots of things happening for 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 um, for Millie. Uh, she's trying to um, deal with the the breakdown of her family. She wants everyone to stay together. She desperately wants to adopt a dog. Um, but she's conflicted because, of course, she's moving uh, between her mother's home one week and her father's apartment the next. Dog just doesn't fit the picture. And then later her dad gets cancer. So um, um, she's, a, she's a young girl with, with lots of conflict in her life. So I want, I want people to just enjoy the, the, the story and, and see its uh, resolution. Uh, I want people to get hooked on poetry as a, as a living form. Um, there's nothing dull and boring about about poetry. And also, I really want um, this to be a book that parents can hand to a child and read to them or or talk to them later and help them to understand um, what goes on in a family that's that's going through these troubles. I've heard from kids um, that this book is one that gives them language and insight into, you know, what a friend might be going through uh, while their family copes with this. Uh, and kids themselves, you know, over half the kids in most classrooms I go into uh, live between two homes and have experience. So they, you know, they, they relate, they relate to, uh, to this story. Why uh, did you decide to end it the way you did? Well, um, I, I didn't want to, um, I wanted to be realistic and I wanted to be hopeful and, and I have been, uh, you know, I pay attention to what happens with divorce and divorce laws and the way families reconfigure themselves. And I became aware of a family like Millie's who broke up, but the parents, to their credit, managed to, to be, to stay friendly. And they took uh, family holidays together. And I thought, well, let's let's just play with that and see see where that goes. So uh, the book doesn't doesn't um, Millie doesn't get what she wants, but she gets something 
something um, something different that uh, is uh, real is realistic in in contemporary times. Is there anything you would want to say about your book that I haven't really touched on at all in my questions that you really want people out there to know going in? I'd like to just read this brief poem that um, that that occurs early in the book when Millie uh, learns that her parents are are divorcing. And this is called Secret Agent. I polish a dark keyhole in the mist of my bedroom window, spy dad outside beside the car, trunk lid open, street light directing suitcases, blankets, books, the old vacuum cleaner, pots and pans, desk chair, watch him climb behind the wheel, pull away from the curb, drive so slow I could jog beside him, ask where he's going, but he turns at the corner, leaves a gray trail of smoke that lingers in the night air, fades away. Thank you again so much for joining to date and doing an interview with me. Thank you, Sarah. I've really enjoyed our conversation.